What is going on everyone? Today we are going to be doing the first interior upgrade for my M240i. Now as you can see I have the M Sport steering wheel with the paddle shifters. The issue is that this one is coming a little bit loose. The left one is not so bad. The plastic backing on this is also separating. You can kind of hear my finger catching on it. So what I'm going to do is replace the paddles with full aluminum ones that are a little bigger. So the paddle shifters I bought are from a company called SK Custom. I found them on Amazon. Uh, they were super cheap, so they were about $70, and they had a coupon going on Amazon for a couple more dollars off. So I paid $63, I believe, for these paddle shifters. So coming out of the box, you can see here that they have a nice brushed aluminum finish, and they come with the plastic backing plate already installed on the shifters. Now, from the looks of it, I can't really tell. They might be painted silver, but they are cold to the touch. They are definitely real metal, and they feel really good. So being cheaper parts, I do expect some flaws with the finish. Uh, there is a mark right there. I don't know what that is where the two pieces meet, but it's actually the same on the other paddle shifter on that side. Now, when you install these, you're not going to see that, so that doesn't really bother me. So we're going to be working with the airbag. So what you want to do first is disconnect the negative terminal from the battery with a 10 millimeter socket. So I've already done it to one side. You can see it's loose. So what you want to do is you want to put something into this little hole here in the steering wheel. I chose an old Allen key. So then you want to push up against the metal clip in there and pull outwards on the airbag. And as you can see, when you have both of those undone, this comes right out and you can arrest that up top. All right, so once you're here, you want to unplug that T20 screw right in there and that holds in the paddle shifter. All right, so once you take out that screw, the paddle shifter should come free. And there it is. So once you have the paddles disconnected, there is going to be a pin that you push out. As you can see, I push that one out the top. And from the bottom of the paddle, you can see the right side where the pin was sticking through. So I used a small Allen key once again to push that through. So this one is pushed from the bottom up, but on the right hand side paddle, uh, it pushes from the top there out the bottom. So it's the opposite. I don't know why that is. Um, I do know that they can only go in and out one way. So just Try both ways if it's not coming out and you'll figure it out. Now here's where you can see the real difference guys. It is night and day. Now when you pull the original paddle out, uh, this spring and plastic piece might come out with it. Um, now that goes in the other piece that still hangs from the steering wheel on the other side here. So those two parts that fall out, um, they go right here. There's a little pin where the spring goes and there are two slots, uh, one on either side for that other plastic piece to slot right in. Okay, so when you got this piece hanging down, you can see that there are two little clips on the end of that unit there, which correspond with the two little clips on the left-hand side here. So this slots in there and then you rock it forward and it should clip. In. All right, so that took way too long, but once that is clipped in, you can click it. So the paddle does actuate, oh, the pin came out. So got to make sure the pin is in before it'll actually click and stay in place. All right, so I put that pin in and I can click it now. And it actuates and it feels good, nice and solid. So the next step is to line the paddles up with the screw hole in here. All right, so both paddles are in and both click. So the next step is to just push this back in and you'll hear a nice audible click and now it is in place. Now reconnect the negative terminal and you are good to go. All right, so now I've driven around for quite a while with the new paddle shifters installed. Uh, overall, I definitely say they are an improvement over the stock shifters. Now they're a little closer to the wheel, uh, which is good. You don't have to reach quite as far. I like the look of them. They feel good, they feel high quality. The only complaint I have is that when your hands are at 10 and two, um, your hands really close to the paddle there. And if you have a little fatter hands or if you're a little loose, they hit the paddle. Now that's not a big deal if you drive at nine and three like I usually do, um, they feel really good. One other minor complaint, if you try to shift from the very top of the paddle, it's a little squishy because the leverage kind of tilts it this way more than inwards. So that's to be expected, I guess, with a longer paddle. Overall, I would definitely recommend them for $70. I will put the link in the description if you're interested. So thank you for watching and have a great day.